What is this? Could it be a recording setup? Yes, I'm actually using this recording setup here at my house. If you read the liner notes of my albums, uh, both of my albums that I've put out, they say recorded at Green Eagle Estate Studios, which is technically, it sounds really official, but it's actually just this room, my basement, here at home. Still working out the kinks here. It's been a long time since I've actually used this for recording. Uh, I'm starting out with a cover of actually a Tame Impala song uh, called The Less I Know The Better, uh, which is a cover I'd just like to upload to YouTube in the next week or two. We shall see, but I wanted to do it a little bit more professionally. So we'll see how this one turns out. Someone said they left together. I ran out the door to get her. She was holding hands with tremor. Not the greatest feeling ever. So that song will probably be ready for upload in about a couple of weeks. I'm going to try to edit it and get it up pretty quickly. And now it's time to tear that down and uh, try to clean up a little bit of this mess because I got a live stream to do, doing another weekly Facebook live stream today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a shorter one, about 45 minutes long because 45 minutes seems to be when Facebook kicks me off and forces me to restart the stream. So hopefully it'll just let me play for the 45 minutes and not cause too much trouble. I got a couple of new covers up my sleeve, as well as a tribute to uh, tribute to the late great Little Richard, who unfortunately died yesterday. Um, should be a fun live stream, though. A little shorter than usual, but I'm gonna end this live stream the same way the Beatles used to, and that is with a Little Richard cover. Little Richard, of course, uh, the self-professed uh, king. Or not king of rock and roll, he called himself the architect of rock and roll. Uh, and maybe he was that. He sort of originated the style that I like to sing in, which is basically to scream everything. He was the first real rock and roll screamer back in the 50s. And he uh, wrote uh, dozens of songs that sort of shaped the foundation of what rock and roll would eventually be. And of course, tragically passed away yesterday. So I'm going to play a song that used to end the Beatles live sets. Uh, it's a classic Little Richard song, goes like this. I'm gonna tell and maybe burn up the town. Say I'm a busy buddy, got a lot of fun on me. Yeah, yeah, I'm baby. Woo, baby. I've been songs to the night.
so much. Thank you for watching. On uh, this coming Saturday, May 16th, at 8 p.m., I'm going to do a live stream on the Mariner Brewing uh, social media pages. Um, I'll send you some more details in the near future. That's going to be a fun gig. But, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Happy Mother's Day. And, uh, yeah, rest in peace to the late, great little Richard. All right, done. Uh, to be honest, it wasn't my best concert. I probably made a mistake doing some recording and then doing the concert, especially on a day where it's like 29 degrees. I was losing my voice. Um, I, I don't know. It was just a 45-minute stream. I thought I could get through it. And also, for some reason, I didn't bother to bring my capo up to the stage area, and I fully introduced the song that I needed a capo for and then couldn't find it. It was really embarrassing. Oh, well, uh, I did finish with that super fun uh, Little Richard tune, which which was really a fun tune to play. Uh, it's true that was the Beatles uh, tune they would finish uh, their shows with, at least on their 64 tour it was. In fact, I believe it was the last song the Beatles ever performed on stage uh, at Candlestick Park in 1966, uh, the last song they played on stage, If You Do Not Count, the rooftop concert in 1969, but I am getting ahead of myself and talking about a topic for a whole nother video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description for a full list of all my upcoming concerts. Wow, I did it again. Yeah, there's no upcoming concert dates down there because, you know, COVID-19. But what there is in the description are links to where you can find my music wherever it's uh, sold or streamed online. Uh, yeah, you can like this video if you like what you saw. Subscribe to this channel if you've been enjoying all my videos and you can ring the notification bell if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, uh, which should be most days for the foreseeable future. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you again with another new vlog real soon.